We're taking a live look at the Climatron. This is over at the Missouri Botanical Garden. And uh, you know that song by Nelly, it's getting hot in here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's getting stinky in there. <laughs> Very stinky in there. Oh, is that how he sounds? That's how you I sound when I'm so stinky. <laughs> Okay, well, let's take another step further into the garden. This is a live look inside the Linnean House Conservatory where Octavia, the corpse flower, and her twin, she has a twin. What? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. See, they're both housed there. Yeah. So after a 16 day wait, Octavia is finally starting to bloom and the conservatory is really starting to get smelly. <laughs> the large plant started to bloom earlier yesterday and reached peak bloom last night. It has started to omit a really intense odor that mimics rotting flesh. Uh, okay. Crowds last night did not notice much of a stench until about after 10 o'clock. So some of the staff at the garden say that Octavia could be at her smelliest right now. Mm. And there's a reason this infamous plant makes such a stink. Flies and dung beetles like stink and they like rotting flesh. And the more it looks and smells like rotting flesh, the better it is. It's like their caviar. Ooh, a bloom time will last less than 24 hours. Octavia will stay on display during regular garden hours until the bloom cycle is complete. Octavia cycle or clone, I should say, is expected to bloom in one week. But wait, it's like, but wait, there's more. There's more. So the, <laughs> the one next to it is going to bloom in a week. Yeah. Wow. You got a chance to smell too stinky. It'll be extremely stinky in there. It's like an old pair of tennis shoes there. I love it. It's so exciting. I've actually never smelled one yeah. because I'm always like, why yeah. would I want to smell that? But, exactly. You know, it's cool to talk about it. Talk about it. That's fine. Smelling it. That's, <laughs> that's another thing altogether.